Disposable Linear Cutter Staplers Instruction for Use This video is provided by Wushibei NSURG Device Company Limited, which explains the basic operations instructions for disposable linear cutter staplers, and it is not a surgical technique reference. Please read the instruction for use carefully before operation, which includes labeling, applicable contraindications, warnings and abnormal preventive measures. Instrument Introduction Instruction for use disposable linear cutter staplers Open the instrument by pushing the release button on the cartridge side of the handle. Located at the end of the instrument, remove the orange protective insert from single-use reloading unit channel by lifting and pulling it out at fingertips. The first method of closure, parallel method of closing instruments. Align the tissue edge equally on the cartridge in the anvil. Position the tissue to be stable between cartridge jaw and anvil. Close the instrument body when the locking lever is open completely. Close the instrument by moving locking handle towards the instrument body until audible clock is heard. When closing, stapler, check a chosen tissue or organs. At this time, ensure the anvil and cartridge are both in the correct position. Second closing method, scissor pattern. Attention, the instrument cannot be closed when the locking lever is in a negative state. Place the thumb behind the firing knob and two fingers on the instrument shores. Advise the firing button forward to the end. The adjustable firing button can be fired on both sides which is convenient to the surgeons when they operate the instruments and reduce the operation time. Note, fire the instrument by sliding the firing knob forward to a complete stop. If the instrument is open during the firing process, the staples may be malformed. After firing, return the firing knob all the way back to its pre-fire position. If the firing button can be turned around, this indicates the instrument reset has been completed. Push the release button to open the instrument. Remove the instrument from tissue. After inspecting the staple line for hemostasis, the procedure is complete. Attention, in some surgeries, the position in pin of the head of the cartridge may puncture tissues causing minor bleeding which can be controlled by manual sutures. The Bayon SURG linear cutter and its cartridge both have a safety system which prevents firing the instrument in the event that the cartridge is not loaded properly or a used cartridge is loaded. When the fired instrument is open, White covered board pops up and the instrument cannot be closed. Then take out the cartridge by lifting the middle and posterior of the cartridge. To ensure the best possible staple formation, clean the blood and residual staples with normal saline on the anvil prior to reloading the device. Take out the new cartridge from package and squeeze the head of the cartridge as demonstrated. Place the head of the cartridge in the cartridge jaw. Then move back until the head of the cartridge is close to the cartridge jaw. Press the front turn back of the cartridge to make the cartridge aligned with the jaw. Note the protecting cover of cartridge can't be removed during the cartridge reloading. After reloading the cartridge, the cartridge will pop up 2 to 3M, indicating the cartridge is reloaded in the correct position. One linear cutter can be reloaded 4 times. It can be fired a total 5 times. Please refer to the product instruction manual for more information.